Hello art lovers! We are at the Artplatz Gallery with the contemporary artist from Munster, Germany, Andrea Michalowicz. Until the middle of the February 2023, you can see the Andrea solo exhibition Flash for Empathy at the gallery on Albert Street 4 in Riga. Andrea studied arts and uh, culture at the University of Bremen. She organized 11 solo exhibitions and participated in international art projects in Germany, Switzerland and Spain in other countries. Also two years in a row, in 2020 and 2021, she exhibited her large format paintings uh, in Nordart, one of the most significant contemporary art events and exhibitions in North Germany. A Flash for Empathy is a series of several large format works which provide a wide margin uh, interpretation regarding one's media use and social position. Uh, so Andrea, what is it Flash for Empathy for you and how did you came up with this uh, concept? Yeah, <clears throat> Flash for Empathy um, is, uh, as you uh, said, a series of large format works and um, every uh, work suggests um, um, a portrait, a human head, but with uh, three bars blocking uh, the view like a, a blindfold. And um, the message behind Flash for Empathy is that everybody has the power to create his own uh, reality. Everybody has this power inside. Um, to achieve this, you have to be quiet, you have to close your eyes, you have to listen to your inner voice, um, to your inner guidance system, and uh, to realize that you got all the answers uh, inside of you, you don't need nothing from, from the outside. And um, for me, Flash for Empathy is my own creative journey about the last four years. And um, until 2017 I painted abstract but without any kind of, of message at all. And um, then I got the feeling to put my personal perception, my subjective point of view, how I see the world um, in my paintings and on canvas. And so I started uh, in 2018 to paint the first um, Flash for Empathy, uh, the small size, one meter by one meter. And at that time I called it blind, and the blind one is also a part of this exhibition here in this gallery. And um, yeah, the following two years I painted 40 blinds um, at the same size, one meter by uh, one meter. And at that time the message grew uh, stronger and stronger and I got the feeling I have to paint bigger and bigger. And then I put the four pieces together and uh, it came, uh, the size came up by two meter by two meter. And um, in summer of 2020, I painted the first flash for empathy at this size. And um, yeah, at the moment I'm working on the flash for empathy number 24. Uh, well, you already mentioned that your works are quite large, two by two meters. Can you tell us more about the creation process? Yeah, I love the creation process every time. It's big fun for me. I enjoy it a lot because it, it's not one canvas. There are four pieces that um, I can put to, together like a puzzle and it became one canvas. And I'm uh, totally free during the whole um, creation process. I can take one piece out and focus on this um, piece and then I take the other and uh, sometimes I, I start with the, the lower part or the upper uh, part. Uh, I paint the left side, the right side, I put them all um, together again or when I start I lay them all on the ground <clears throat> and um, throw the color on the canvas and I got a big brush where I can scrub the color in every corner of the canvas and for me it's uh, a big fun because I don't have to follow any rules. Um, I'm totally free uh, and um, I can experiment. I work with any kind of materials. I, I find in, in everyday life I got um, forks to scratch uh, the color up and then I I paint it over. I, I work in, in several layers. I let them dry overnight and then I paint it over. Uh, this is much fun and um, I don't have a plan, I don't think about how the artwork should look like in the end. Um, I'm, I'm, I just go with the flow and so I'm uh, totally free and I think because of that every Flash for Empathy in the end is so individual and um, unique. Okay, and I know that uh, all of your canvas are framed in steel. Is this framing kind of uh, 
uh, like a part of your your uh, uh, painting. It's that's a necessary. Yeah, yeah. The steel frame is very necessary for my artwork. Um, I worked three years in a framing studio where I learned to frame any kind of artwork, and so I got a personal interest of framing my own artwork too. And um, I love the material um, of steel. Um, I, I think it's 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 rough, it's industrial, it's it's heavy, and um, every framing uh, gives my artwork uh, stability and substance. And um, I love the optical way. Uh, I love it too when you stand in front of the painting and you see this the steel frame with the shadow gap. It looks fantastic. Um, I love the combination of steel colors and canvas. Or oh, when you look from the side, you see the steel frame and, and the colors. And um, every steel fa frame is um, individual and different because of the oxidation. Or um, some frames got this number pressed uh, in a number pressed in the frame because of the machine and um, so every steel frame is also different and unique and it's the perfect finishing for, for every artwork and it makes my, um, my um, work uh, complete. Okay, and uh, one more question. Um, and how did you get into abstract painting? I know that you've been working as an artist since 2009. Yes, I uh, studied um, art history and during my education I always uh, paint abstract. With this kind of art movement I can identify myself the most. It's, it's the best way for me to express myself. And um, the last years I painted very much. And um, to figure out my, my standing as an artist, to find my own style, I had um, a solo exhibition, group exhibition all over Europe. And this period of time was very important to me to find out What's my message? What's my intention? What do I want to say with my uh, with my artworks? And especially the last four years, I worked on the series Flesh for Empathy. I create an an motive which is recurring but always unique. And all this together, the steel frame, the motive, uh, the title Flesh for Empathy, the message behind it, all this together became Flesh for Empathy. And um, yeah, I'm just at the beginning. It, I got so many ideas and uh, there's a lot to come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea, for the conversation. Thank you. And welcome everyone to the Art Clouds Gallery to experience Flash for Empathy by Andrea Michaela Weiss. And nonetheless, we are inviting young artists uh, to apply for the Gallery New Exhibition Project Foresight. Uh, and more information about this project uh, can be found on our website www.platzcart.info And thank you for watching and joining us on our journey by following us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. And have a great day and many flashy experiences. <laughs>